happy to be here today to uh, talk to the uh, talk to the group about innovation for social accountability. Um, so, looking at different ways that UNDP supports uh, government partners as well as citizens in um, the issue of social accountability and good governance. So we looked at uh, a lot of different examples of what countries around the world are doing to promote social accountability and kind of new and innovative techniques and methodologies and tools that, that they're using to um, increase accountability on both sides, uh, capacities for accountability on both the institutional side and the individual side. I think for, for us what we look to do is to support capacities for innovation within the public sector as well as uh, within civil society at all levels of government. Um, it's particularly important at the, at the local level for citizens to uh, kind of strengthen their level of engagement um, and to, to look for contributing their voice and contributing the solutions that they have. Um, it's important for government at the local level to to be open to collaborating with citizens. Um, we're very strong proponents of kind of cross-sectoral collaboration uh, between public sector, private sector, civil society in generating solutions. Uh, so that's the kind of the focus of the work um, and it happens at the, like I said, at the central level as well as the local level. What I, I would say for Tunisian youth is that um, they are the leaders, not of tomorrow, but the leaders of today. Um, and it's just very important to um, for them to be a part of the process, um, be a part of the solution, not a part of the problem. And there are many, many ideas. Um, there's energy, there's uh, passion and commitment, and to just kind of continue to be part of the process and, and not remove yourself from the process, but really dive into the process no matter how. Uh, frustrating it may be at times, no, no matter, um, it's important that uh, their voice is heard and their solutions are heard. So, continue on.